What if I told you the cities that we used to dream about and watched in the movies are being built at this moment? Yes, the moment has finally come. Hello everyone, I was looking for cool places to live when I stumbled upon these futuristic cities that are currently being built and thought it would be a great video to share with you guys. Diamondadeo Lake City. This is a government approved futuristic project based in Senegal, coming in at $2 billion and should be finished with construction by 2035. You know, in case you wanted a reason to visit, they are hosting the Youth Olympics in 2026 right there. So why don't you start looking for tickets and experience firsthand the new top of the art city. They are getting the best talent to work on it and looking for private investors now. New Santra. This is Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. It's overcrowded, it's sinking. In fact, some areas could be entirely submerged by 2050. And this is Nasantara, the next capital of Indonesia. Nasantara, or IKN, won't just be any new planned city. With construction having already begun in July of 2022, this is gonna be a $32.4 billion green metropolis run on renewable energy, very high tech, and intends to attract digital nomads and millennials who will purchase stylish apartments with cryptocurrency. Something to think about, eh? King Abadullah Economic City. This city is planned by King Abadullah in Makkah province, Saudi Arabia, and announced as a mega project in 2005. To the king's displeasure, the Financial Times wrote that the city had not attracted investment or fulfilled its goal of becoming one of the world's most competitive investment destinations, having it filled with economic infrastructures. This is still a work in progress, and to date, there are supposed to be only 12,000 residents. Sometimes things don't work out, not even if you're a king. Helsinki Bunker City. Almost 200 miles of tunnels exist under Helsinki, being the coolest weatherproof playground in the world. Because of their shared 833 mile border with Russia. A, a nuclear attack, it could be chemical warfare, it could be anything. Finland decided to create an underground master plan. It all started in the 1960s to house power lines, sewers and other city planners decided to expand, realizing it could be used for cultural and sporting attractions like museums, churches, go-karts, hockey rinks, and much more. And of course, serve as a shelter for 900,000 people from the zombie invasion, Nur Kent. Hey, are you getting bored yet? I'm sure you're not gonna wanna hear about the $1 trillion infrastructure program known as One Belt one road that China is financing in southeastern Kazakhstan. To revive the ancient Silk Road and built other trading routes between Asia and Europe, a new town called Nurkent has been built from scratch with apartment blocks, school, shops, all for the workers that are going to be living there for free. The town currently has around 1,500 residents, but there are plans to expand it for more than 100,000. Eco Atlantic City, standing at 10 million square meters of land reclaimed from the ocean and protected by an 8.5 kilometer long seawall, Eco Atlantic will be the size of Manhattan's skyscraper district. Upon completion, this new peninsula is expecting 250,000 residents. While this development was also designed to help in stopping the erosion of the coastline, it is expected to be the next generation of property in Africa. Having a total of 10 districts spreading over 3.9 square miles, this city will satisfy all the needs with its sustainable and state-of-the-art buildings. Question is, will it satisfy your budget? Akon City. Let me tell you a very disappointing story. We're in 2020. This is Akon, a Senegalese American R&B singer popular in the early 2000s. This is Akon City, a 6 billion real life Wakanda city. He promised he would build surrounded by government officials and for the first stone placed. And this is a coin. Do not laugh. It's proposed cryptocurrency the city would run on. Now let's fast forward to 2023. This is a con. A plaque in an empty dirt field promises not delivered and people feeling stupid. Something that really makes me angry is when people promise they're gonna do something and then fail to deliver. Like, it's better if you just don't say anything. The line, this is a real wonder. And I really wonder if there are gonna be any warning for birds. Guys, this is a gigantic mirror, fly up to continue. Does anyone know anything about this? So to build the line a hundred mile long and 500 meter tall linear city, it is gonna take around a hundred to 200 billion dollars. 
This city has planned to eliminate the need for cars and carbon emissions by implementing high-speed autonomous transit. It will feature vertically layered homes, offices, public parks, and public schools, year-round climate control of all indoor and outdoor spaces, set to hold a total of 9 million people. The construction has already begun and it's expected to be completed by 2030. Imagine you had to choose to live in one of these cities. Which one would you choose and why? Rawabi. This massive futuristic city in the West Bank is thought to begin with 6,000 housing units and across 22 neighborhoods, eventually becoming home to more than 25,000 residents. As the project advances into the next construction phases, it will bring the city's population to 40,000. Bashar Mashri is the American-Palestinian billionaire faced several problems when constructing the city, like Israelis holding water or not letting them build an appropriate road to connect the city. But this is a heart project for him, and it looks like he's not giving up. He sees Rawabi as a down payment on Palestinian future that is better, cosmopolitan and green. His stylish condos start at $65,000 with American-style mortgages that Mastery introduced. You know, I know a guy who knows a guy that told him he had a friend who supposedly was always too lazy to go to church. So he decided it was a good idea to watch online mass every Sunday. You'll understand why I'm mentioning this in just a minute. Mina. Every single year, Muslims from around the world travel to Mecca, where a massive pilgrimage known as the Hajj, or the City of Tents, takes place. This extends over 7.7 .7 square miles with a capacity of 2.6 million people. Every Muslim in the world is called to attend at least once in their lifetime. And as a result, and definitely not being like the friend of mine, a million people attend it each year to fill their holy obligations. It's a massive hotel scheme where the cheapest tents sell for $2,700 and the highest level is for $3,900. This city was built with the purpose of avoiding terrible accidents that used to happen before in the 1900s. Regular tent fires, which the pilgrims had to bring, set up and dismantle, used to break out due to pilgrims not following safety guidelines, causing injuries, damage and fatal loss. Egypt's new administrative capital. Like many other desert dreams before this one, this new administrative capital, which was supposed to offer a new alternative from the chaos and low quality of life of Cairo, has drained the Egyptian economy but enriched the bank accounts of the military leaders. The president is borrowing money to build a massive city for the rich, while poor and middle class Egyptians are being completely disregarded. And I thought I had a problem spending too much on my credit card. Costing $59 billion, tens of thousands of apartments have already been built. Yet to see a green space double the size of New York Central Park, some 6,000 cameras monitoring the streets, and extensive use of digital technology, this city is supposed to be an urban metropolis built to the highest standards. Maldives Floating City Let me throw some facts right now so we can be smarter people, okay? According to the World Bank, Future sea levels are predicted to increase from 10 to 100 centimeters by 2100, meaning many places will be completely submerged. So even though we like living in, I'll try to pretend it won't happen world, we either delay or pay. A city big enough to house 20,000 people is being constructed. With this pattern similar to Brain Coral, this city will consist of 5,000 floating units expected to stay below $250,000, including houses, restaurants, shops, and schools, and the whole city is due to be completed by 2027. See you in the next video. We'll be reading your comments.